it's me uh welcome to today's vlog today has been a crazy day um so i worked this morning at 6 a.m and peter had to work at he had to leave for work at five and i was going to wake up at five which was poorly timed because in my mind i was like yeah i get to sleep till five that's gonna be great and then peter set his alarm for like four 45 or something which is only 15 minutes before I had to be awake and anyone with a husband knows that they don't actually wake up to their alarm you wake up to their alarm and you wake them up so it was like just off to like a bad start because I was just like annoyed that I got dripped out of 15 minutes of sleep um we went to work work was pretty good um, just a normal making lattes, whatever, nothing really new. Um, and then when I got out of work, I called Peter to see how his work day was going. And he's just really stressed today and has, well, and is still currently having just a really, really rough day at work. So I wanted to go out and get a couple of things to surprise him for when he comes home. So. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out and we're going to look for something to just be like a nice little something for him. Side note, I, so I'm an esthetician. That's probably something that a lot of you guys don't know. Um, I'm a licensed esthetician. I don't practice aesthetics anymore. I did lash extensions for two full years. I loved it when I first started and then the last couple of months I did it, I was just like miserable. My neck hurt really bad. Anyways, long story short, I wax like my own, I like wax my lip because your girl gets a mustache sometimes, you know. Gotta keep my eyebrows fresh and I wax my underarms because shaving is just stupid. <laughs> um, and I, oh, I never have a problem waxing my own armpits, but today, this armpit, you can see you can see right here, I gave myself a blood blister. I um, tried to put some aloe on it and I think my aloe is expired or something because it freaking burned so bad. Like, I like put it on and it felt really good at first like it normally does. And then like a couple seconds it like starts burning. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So then I like get a tissue to wipe it off and that doesn't do anything. So then I like start like throwing cold water at it and that doesn't do anything. So then I'm just like standing there in the bathroom like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it burns, it burns. So yeah, you missed that. Um, also in today's vlog, um, I'm going to be starting a new series, um, something about Europe because we leave for Europe in less than two months. And I, I just like cannot believe that. I can't believe it. So now is the time that we have to start buying like packing cubes and toiletries and just like all the little stuff that you need for traveling around the world. Um, I'm the kind of person, I will probably have our bags packed like a month in advance. I've got a list of things that I need to buy and I, I'm going to just make it a thing. I'm going to make it a series, the Europe series. Just all the things, all things Europe. So, um, we're going, we're going to go to Target right now. I think that's what we're going to do because I have one idea of what I want to get Peter. Um, and I'm going to look around there in their travel section as well. And then if I have time, then I'm going to go to Walmart as well. And I have to go to Sprouts to get groceries for dinner tonight. So, Enough of me talking, let's go to Target. So we're gonna go into Ross and TJ Maxx instead of um, Target. Sorry, there's like reflections on my face. I don't know where they're coming from. Um, so I was thinking we probably will end up going to Target also. Um, but I, so the one thing that I wanted to get Peter, at least the one thing is um, a candle. But he's very picky. Well, he's not really. He just loves candles. But he loves the Woodwick ones. That and they're so cool. If you have never seen a Woodwick candle, just go buy one. It sounds like a fire crackling, and it's it's really cool. 
Um, and sometimes Ross and TJ Maxx have like random ones and they're like $5 cheaper than buying them at Target or you know like Walmart or something. Um, so I want to look around in here and maybe I'll try to look and find him like a cute little button up shirt or something. Maybe I shouldn't say cute. A handsome button up shirt. It's freaking hot outside guys. It is 85 degrees out and it is just miserable. Some of you guys probably live in this heat all day, but here in Colorado, uh, we have seasons. Usually you get all four seasons in like a week, so that's fun. Um, anyways, so I have, su 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 I have successfully gotten everything that I would like to surprise Peter with. I'll show you really quick. From Ross, I got this. This is for me. This isn't like a surprise for Peter. It's a, just a fine mesh strainer. This was on sale for $2, so I bought it. Um, so the first part to Peter's thing, I got these. Also, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'm just like a sucker for mini things. Um, so these caught my eye, and then I think I just like tried to say it was for Peter, but low-key, it's for me. Um, they're mini loaf pans. They're so tiny and cute. Um, but Peter loves, um, like banana bread and, um, lemon poppy seed muffins or bread or whatever. And that is all I got from Ross. And then I didn't get anything from TJ Maxx. They weren't helpful. Um, but at Target I got some stuff. So, I got this cookie brownie mix, uh, for myself. It was on sale. So, like, how, why wouldn't I? Duh. Um, and then I got this for Peter. So I'm going to bake this, um, hopefully before he gets home, in the little, the mini loaf pans. Um, this one even comes with the fancy lemon glaze. Uh, and then I got him his candle that I wanted to find him. But this, like, just looks really cool. It's got, like, the little drips, and it smells delicious. It smells so good. And this is... The, the flavor, why did I say flavor? The scent is Weathered Woods. There we go. And you can see the wood wick. The last thing I got is not for Peter. Um, this was on sale in the, the dollar section. Everything was 50% off, so I got this for $1.50. Um, I bought one of these like a couple weeks ago because I was gonna put um, my nephew's toys in it. Because right now I just like had them sitting in a pile and it doesn't look very nice. Um, so I bought one of these and then uh, when I brought it home, I decided that I wanted to put the stuff that we've been um, gathering for Europe, I just wanted to put it in, in somewhere where it was all together. Um, so that way like when we're packing, I'm like, shoot, remember I bought those packing cubes but I can't remember where I put it. Um, so I just, I put it in here. So, that's what I got, um, for today. I'm trying to get a hold of Peter. It's, um, it's National Cow Appreciation Day or something, I don't know. But Chick-fil-A does, um, the thing where if you dress up as a cow, you can get free Chick-fil-A. So, I don't know what time Peter's gonna be off, and I, he has had like a really rough day guys I feel so bad for him um, so I don't know if he would even want to go out or if he'd just rather home have home cooked dinner or if he would rather have Texas Roadhouse or something like I don't know so I've just been trying to get a hold of him and he's not answering his phone <sighs> honestly I'm probably just gonna sit here in the Sprouts parking lot until he answers me okay guys so I'm home finally got a hold of Peter thank goodness he was about to finish cleaning up and he said that he really wanted some Chick-fil-A. So we're gonna get Chick-fil-A for dinner, which like I'm okay with because that means I don't have to cook. I made our lemon poppy seed things. Well, I didn't make them yet, I haven't baked them. Um, but these pans are so freaking cute. So I need to get these in the oven before, um, so that they can be done before Peter gets home. The final product before putting in the oven open this okay 
All right, and set the timer for 15. So yeah, that's that. We're gonna wait 15 minutes. The um, mini loaves were 100% a success, and I can't wait for Brady to get home. This is the hard part, like waiting for him to come home, because I'm like, I did all our favorite things today, and I just can't wait to share them with you. Update on my armpit, still hurts really bad. Like, when the wind hits it, it's like, I'm like, ooh. Well, guys, it's the end of the night. Peter came home. He loves his candle. And he hasn't had any of the, the lemon bread yet, but that'll be for breakfast. We decided to uh, have Carl's Jr. instead of Chick-fil-A. Uh, to be honest, Carl's Jr. is like a very close second um, in my favorite like fast food places. I just love their chicken stars and their french fries are delicious. And my favorite thing to drink there is you do half lemonade. Wow half Sprite and half Powerade. It tastes so good. You should try it sometime. Let me know what you think. Um, so that's gonna be it for tonight and I will pick this vlog up tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning. Hey! Good morning. Um, it's not really morning actually, it's 12, but um, I haven't, you know, this is my first time starting the vlog today. I have really just been running errands now. I'm on my way to get some coffee with Peter, and we're actually like right about to pull up. I can see his car right there. So, see you in a sec. I decided to feel and look pretty today, so I put on a little bit of makeup. Also, look at my shirt. Not to be trusted alone at Target. Very true. <laughs> My mom got this for me because she knows me so well. Um, okay, so today we don't have a lot of, well actually like I don't have really anything to do today that I like have to do. Um, but I want to continue uh, my, my search for travel things. All this morning like while I was getting ready or just like just chilling out, I was watching um, YouTube videos of what people consider travel necessities and it's really funny to me because everyone like one lady considered um, like makeup settings for an absolute travel necessity and like I would never ever bring that but it's good to like uh, watch everyone's videos because a lot of people I get something out of every single one like I have a list started of things that I need to buy we're gonna go back to Target because when we were there yesterday, I didn't look in their travel section at all. Um, we're gonna go to Target and then Walmart. If I think of anywhere else on the way, I'll stop, but I just wish there was like a travel store, you know? Like they have, they have stuff, they have stores for everything. Why can't you have a store for like off-brand travel items? Oh, the other place I wanted to go was Old Navy because they have their, all of their clearance is an extra 45% off what it already is. So I'm 100% down for that. I really need to get more tank tops for the summertime. Just like plain colors though. Be like I'm wearing these really cute shorts that are also from Old Navy. They're just like blue with white polka dots. And like this t-shirt or this tank top matches it okay, but I want I wanted to wear just like a plain white t-shirt or tank top. Wow, I can't speak. Um, but I don't have like I have a fancy one that like tucks in, and then I have like just like an undershirt, but it's see-through, so like I can't wear that, you know. So 
yes enough of me rambling let's get on the road i am here so this is actually like the perfect little setup so the strip mall i'm at there's hobby lobby at the end bed bath and beyond here old navy there and sierra trading post at the end and um I need to go to Hobby Lobby because I really want to get a travel journal and I've seen them at Hobby Lobby really cheap and you get 40% off. Bed Bath & Beyond, I honestly probably won't buy anything from there just because it's like overpriced for no reason but they might, like I might get some ideas of stuff that I would need and that I could probably find cheaper like on Amazon or something. And then Old Navy, you already know I want to go there and Sierra Trading Post is just like REI but cheaper so they say but they're still like really not that cheap so that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna hit those four in we go i've been thinking about getting these it's a water bottle that has a filter on it for like when we're in europe or specifically when we're in jordan because like they everyone says don't ever drink the water there so let me know if you have had one of these and how it works I'm here at Hobby Lobby, and the only thing that they had that, oh, I came here to look for a travel journal thing, and they don't have one. They used to, I don't know what happened to them. I did find this little luggage tag. Um, it's on sale for a dollar, but I just like, I don't like love it, so I probably won't get it. Um, it cracks me up though, because I can't find anything I need, but they do have all of their Christmas stuff out, so really cool gotta love hobby lobby right well so far i've had no luck um i went to bed bath and beyond i did find those water bottles which is a good reminder for me to look into them so now i think i'm gonna go to sierra trading post first just because i know i'm not gonna buy anything there and i will buy stuff from old navy so i'm gonna go there last so we're gonna head to Sierra Trading Post now. I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I walk around like this so that like my armpits don't get too sweaty. Is that TMI? Is that gross? Whatever. Just trying to be real with you guys, you know? Okay, I got a lot of stuff from Old Navy and it turns out the freaking the 40% off clearance was yesterday but they still had a lot of really good deals oh all right so back at home and Peter had a change of plans he wasn't gonna be home until later but he's actually coming home now so I want to film this before he gets here so I can just hang out with him um, so from Old Navy I'm trying to buy like like solid color tops and then like I can like pattern my bottoms because like obviously we're going to be in Europe and we're going to be taking a lot of pictures so I don't want to be wearing like all black or like leggings and like a sports t-shirt you know I'm like I still want to be cute but sometimes cute stuff takes up a lot of room and we are only trying to bring a backpack each so that whatever carry-on we bring, we can fill with like souvenirs and like clothes or coffee, whatever we buy. So, um, I got this, these two are for Peter because I don't know if you've noticed in all of my videos, he only wears blank shirts. He doesn't have any shirts with like words on them or like crazy patterns. He, sim he only wears solid color shirts or like striped shirts and that's it. And I love that about Peter. And Old Navy V-necks are his favorite shirts of all time. Oh, he's here. And they had them on sale for $7. So I got him this really nice light blue color and then this like teal greenish color. We'll see what he thinks when he comes in. And then for myself, I got these shorts they were on sale for ten dollars this is what i'm talking about like this i can wear a white t-shirt or a white tank top and like this is like a cute outfit you know it's not just like plain yeah so i have these shorts and i have the green and white shorts i have from old navy and i have another like um 
linen type shorts but it's got a bunch of different colors on them so these will like I, I'm gonna like these. Hi. You like these shirts I got for you? You like these colors? You don't have anything in this color. He said and then what what I went for I got. So I got um these really nice, uh, just a plain black tank top with thicker straps. The same one in white, which is what I really needed. And then I got a green one. This one has, this is like more of a high neck one. And then the same as this in like a mustardy color. All of these were on sale for $4. What? And then, and then they also had these sunnies on sale for $4. Um, the sunglasses I have, which you see all the time, they are, I've had them for almost three years now, which is really surprising. I, I, it's nearly impossible for me to keep a pair of sunglasses for more than like a couple of months, but they are like about to break. So I got these and I really like these too. Kind of the same shape and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's all the stuff I got for Old Navy. I spent my monthly budget for things that we don't need. So you won't see another video like this until next month. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think I'm just gonna end the video here. We have to leave for church here in a couple of minutes. Two things I need you guys to comment down below. One, if you've traveled internationally or if you just travel a lot in general, what things do you consider necessities or like if you have tips and tricks for packing or whatever please i need all of the help i can get second thing video ideas if you have any suggestions or anything that you want to see me do any fun things challenges whatever um comment down below also that that was not a correct order but i'm gonna leave it um Hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night, whatever, and I'll see you next Friday.